right? She says, what happens when your child gets up to that level that you can say all the right things, but you can see nothing's going to work. They're laughing at you, they're mimicking you and so on. So Rach, when this is happening, it's because emotions are too big and we've got a lack of respect. So there's a couple of things to do. Number one, say to your child, right now, we can't have this conversation. So you're going to draw a line in the sand right here. You're going to do, you know, explore, explain, empower. You're going to explain. I won't be able to engage with you while this is happening. And in that instance, it's okay to leave. But what you're probably going to say is when we can be good to each other, when you can be good to me and I can be good to you, we can get together and we can have a proper conversation. But right now our relationship is not right. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of space. And when you're ready to be respectful, we can try again. What you're doing is you're setting a really clear boundary. You're actually creating a structure within your home, a structure that says we treat each other respectfully. And when we don't, it's appropriate to remove yourself from the environment. That's essentially what you're doing there. And I think that that's a healthy thing to do, Rach. High emotions, low intelligence, or as uh, one of our Happy Families members said, uh, when you're on the brink, you need to stop and think. You can't think straight in a high emotion state. And so your child and you need to be able to bring those emotions back to where you're stable. Once they're stable, you can say, what was going on back there? Tell me about it. Why did you think that was okay? I'm not mad at you, but let's have a conversation so we can learn how to treat each other better. What do you think we should do next time? That's where we're going with that. Rach, I hope that's helpful. I don't know if you've scribbled down some notes there, but that's what we're looking for. 